Hi there everybody, welcome back to Game Vine. My name is Dave, and this is the Switch Lite. That's right, I got my very own Switch Lite. Now I can do the comparison of the Switch Lite and the actual Switch and see how it holds up. I'm going to show you the unboxing because I just got this and I wanted to open it together with you. And then I'm gonna cut the video for about two weeks and then play with the Switch Lite and see what I think so I can give you my honest and true opinion on what I think about the Switch Lite. So without further ado, Vine Nation, let's go and check out what's in this small box. All right, so as you can see, I have the gray version. There are a couple colors out there. I would have preferred either the blue or the coral, but switch lights are kind of hard to get, so I jumped on this gray one here. All right, so like you can see, it's a pretty small box um, compared to the actual switch, is, which is probably triple the size, but I bet there's quite a bit in this box, so let's go and check it out. So it's packed really nicely. Uh, we go ahead and get the actual switch light out. Let's check this out. It's uh, in a bag, so we're going to go ahead and bring it out and get our first feel of what it's like oh man yeah that feels nice check that out guys it is squeaky clean and it's got a nice matte feel to it it is significantly smaller um, again we'll do some comparisons after i play this for about two weeks right now this is just the unboxing so let's see what else comes in here. Uh, some instructions, I'm sure, yeah. And then an actual charger. These are like gold. So I'm glad to have another one because they're expensive. And now I can put another charger in a different room, which is pretty nice. And that seems to be it, guys. Not much to it. You just get the bang right here, the switch light and the charger. And they say, go to it. Get with the switching. So let me go ahead and play with this for about two weeks and we'll come back. Ah, ah, hey there everyone. All right, so that was a fast two weeks, but all I've been doing basically was trying to play as much as I can on the Switch Lite to get a good feel on it and tell you if it's worth buying. Is this the better Switch of the two? Is this more bang for your buck? Or should you just stick with the big OG Switch itself? Well. I'm just gonna save you some time and say, it is not the better Switch. But don't stop the video yet. I can make a case for this for people of a certain demographic. So you should stay tuned to see if that is you. Uh, so let's go over some of the things that this thing does well and some of the things that it doesn't have so it can't do well. So the main thing that this thing doesn't have is rumble no hd no rumble at all and that is my least favorite thing when they don't include that it's the visceral feel it's the vibration that immerses me in games ever since it's been invented and when the hd uh, version of that was invented well i was just in awe and i love having vibrations so when it's taken out it almost makes this kind of uncanny uh valley feel um for the for the actual feeling with the hands, not the uncanny va uh, valley with the eyes. But that's what happens with this when it comes to no vibrations or n any controllers that don't have vibration. Now, you could go off and get some Joy-Cons that have vibration, but at that time, you might as well go out and get yourself a Switch because um, it's around the same price and you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck, like I was saying earlier in the video. But in these hard times, the Switch Lite might be a go-to. Uh, the Switch right now, uh, when shooting this video, is really hard to get, the OG one. Um, so the Switch Lite is 200 bucks and relatively easy to find. You still have to dig a little bit, but much easier to find than the docked version. And I added a few little things to it to kind of make it comfortable. Um, some tire uh, tread little button covers and I like these um, little stick covers here they're pretty nice have uh, a bit of a line grip so it feels good against my fingerprints and of course this doesn't come with a dock it does come with a charger and you can't dock this at all even if you try and um, even if you try to make the dock into a different type of smaller dock even if you plug it into the little c port 
it doesn't have the hardware to project to the TV. So you're losing out on that. And if that is worth a hundred bucks when the Switch does come back in stock, because it sh should only be around a hundred bucks more, uh, that's up to you. This is extremely portable though. Let's start talking about the good stuff. It doesn't feel a little bit wonky because um, when you hold the Switch, uh, the Joy-Cons almost feel like they could detach at any moment. Um, though they don't, they're sturdy enough to stay in, but it kind of almost bends. But this, this is sturdy. Great plastic. Uh, since some uh, the corners were cut, uh, like the rumble. This is pretty light, so that makes it super portable. And that's good for people who don't want to lug around this big old switch. This is heavy, and when you add a grip and all that, it gets even heavier. Uh, you could add a grip um, to the switch light here. I did have this here, so let's uh, see that. And even with that, it's still much smaller. So check that out. I mean, it's still really light and compact, so this is good for people who are on the go, who don't use it in TV mode. Uh, e even though um, I don't use mine uh, in TV mode, I still do like having this one here because the pixel um, count is a bit better, it's a bit crisper. I played as many games that I could on this. I played RPGs, I played pixel related games, I played adventure games. Um, Breath of the Wild looks pretty good, but sometimes the frame rate would get a little uh, kooky and it didn't look as crisp. I, I, I can't really um, describe it. It kind of have like it kind of has like a blur effect almost, but it still looks good. It's just a little less. The battery is decent. I don't know if I got a bad one. They said the battery is supposed to be much better, um, but mine is just a tad bit better than this switch I got here. This was the first model, so it's got the bad battery in it. So sometimes they can run about four hours playing some big games, uh, but sometimes it only runs for two hours, and I'm like, what's wrong with this switch? Did they get a, a faulty one? And that might be just because it's new and the battery's wearing in. I don't know if that's something to keep an eye out on, but uh, the battery life is a bit better even if mine is a tad bit defective. It's also good for, of course, people who are on a budget. If you're gonna cut a hundred bucks out and if you just want to play Switch games because there are tons of great exclusive Switch games out there and you don't have the cash and you can, basically you can buy a um, grip, you can buy a screen protector and a game and a case and the Switch Lite for as much as you would spend on the Switch here and uh, maybe you want to play Animal Crossing or you want to play uh, the new Mario Odyssey because you haven't got Switch yet. Uh, you, go, you can do that and still be under budget. Um, compared to the actual OG. It does have a cool D-pad, I like that. That's pretty nice. If they weren't gonna give you Joy-Cons, they better get to give you a D-pad, so. But it's pretty nice, I like it. And the other thing though is, you would think if you have a Switch, uh, they would make it easy to transfer your save data between the two Switches uh, in a Switch Lite. It's not that easy. It, it, I mean, it can be done and uh, you can do it in a matter of a couple minutes when you jump on from a switch light to a regular switch, but sometimes you don't remember to do that and it tells you uh, if you want to transfer the data if, uh, and if you do transfer the data, it's gonna overwrite the data on the other switch and sometimes I can't remember the last one I played, so I would lose some information on some occasions and it just confused me, so I stopped go switching between the two and I just isolated what games I played on the switch light and what games I played on a re regular switch. And good luck with that with Animal Crossing because you can only have your town a one island on each console. So you wouldn't be able to do the cloud transfer with this. So that's something to think on if you want to get Animal Crossing and a Switch Lite and then eventually get a Switch in the future and, and you want to uh, twist between the two on your same island. Well, they can't do that as of right now. I got the gray color. It's pretty. I like the gray color. I wish I would have got the coral or the blue, but it's better than yellow. I don't like the yellow. But all in all, I like the Switch Lite. Uh, it's not something that I pick up often. I think if I were to go out uh, more, I would use this uh, more often, but I'm stuck in the house, so I'm sticking with this guy because it looks better and uh, I can play it on the TV when I want. And I don't know, I just, I'm attached to this guy. It has Joy-Con for crying out loud. Now, you can't 
plug any USB ports in here. So if you only have a wireless controller, that kind of stinks. So that's where this guy comes into play. Um, you can actually hook this into the C port here and plug in a, a um, cabled wire. You shouldn't have to do that. There should be some kind of USB port on here somewhere, but there is an actual uh, headphone jack. So there's at least that. So, but this does solve some problems if you are looking for that. But if you're on a budget or if you want to get a present for your kid and you want to make sure you have a durable uh, console and they want a switch, this is actually a really good purchase. And that's the demographic I was talking about in the beginning of the video. So I hope this video was informational. Thank you so much everybody for joining me here in today's video. I have had such a great time testing out this product and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be giving this to a lucky lady um, that uh, is in my life, but don't tell her, not yet. Shh. I've been Dave and if you haven't already, please click like and subscribe. Leave a com comment down below. I am going to leave a link for a Switch Lite down the, uh, in the comments there. Um, if you want to pick that up, click that link. It's going to support the channel. But until the next time that I see you, I've been Dave. Have a great rest of your day and a great time with all of you play gals and guys. I'm out. Bye.